So welcome to the uh, the Four Seasons Resort Maldives at uh, Landa Jiravaru. Four Seasons Maldives, Landa Jiravaru. We go for a walk around the place. Yeah, we're standing at the uh, the main entrance here. This is where uh, when you get here you arrive. The main arrival jetty. Uh, they've got a Lebanese restaurant there. Uh, fish feeding happens there in the evenings as well. Yep. Four Seasons Resort, Maldives Landa Jiravaru. Standing at the front here. A uh, lovely day in the Maldives. Lovely, beautiful, uh, sunny, clear waters. And we're in the uh, the Bar Atoll. Welcome to Four Seasons Maldives. Great place. All right, I'll walk you to my villa, which is at the other end of the resort. It's about uh, the best part of a mile. We we'll walk there. Take my bike on route. So that's one of the yachts that we have here. Four Seasons. Yeah, we're in the Bar Atoll in the Maldives. It's, uh, it's a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. I'll show you shark feeding and uh, a few other things on the way. Uh, that resort out there is uh, Milaidu. It's another famous five-star resort here. Yeah, lovely waters of uh, Landa Jiravaru. All right, let's go, we've got a long way to go. Yeah, so this here, they have like a marine discovery center here. Marine discovery center. Uh, they had uh, turtle feeding. Go on the beach. Turtle feeding and fish feeding in there earlier. Yesterday. Uh, main arrival jetty. You come here on a seaplane, it's about a 30 minute ride from uh, Male. Yeah, fish feeding goes on there in the, uh, in the evenings. Yeah, and the Lebanese, the Lebanese restaurant there. Yeah, so the island, the main island is about 800 meters long. It goes all the way up there. It's all the way out there, the main island. Yeah, I think the staff are waiting for a new set of arrivals there. Yeah, main island is all the way up there. There's beach, uh, beach villas there. And uh, welcome to the, uh, the Bar Atoll. one of the 26 atolls in the Maldives, the Bar Atoll. It's the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, which basically means the, the fish is lovely to eat. So I had uh, prawn curry last night at, uh, yeah, Four Seasons Maldives at Landa Jiravaru. Welcome. My favorite hoteliers in the world. All right, so it's a brief look at the beach. You can hear the seaplane just there. You see the seaplane parked out there. That's how you get here. See the seaplane. Yeah, it's a new bunch of guests uh, just arrived. I got here yesterday. Yeah, I got here yesterday. Ah, welcome to Four Seasons. My favorite hotel is in the world. There's a Four Seasons in Lebanon, Beirut. A Lebanese restaurant at the front there. Yeah, this is the Marine Discovery Center just through here. They have uh, turtle feeding and stuff in there. It's good. It's good how they are uh, one with nature here. Yeah, there's a Four Seasons in Beirut. It's quite good. I've stayed there. Okay. Yeah, Marine Discovery Center, turtle feeding. It's basically turtles there. Uh, when people go fishing or seaplane lands on them and stuff like that. They lose their legs, so uh, the fishermen find them and bring them here, or they just wash up to shore. And uh, yeah, that's the deal. Hey, let's walk past these guys. Hey, hello, Molly. Yeah, so from the arrival of Jetty, so you walk into the lobby. So I walk to the lobby, and we're going to pick up the guests. Now you walk to the lobby. Lobby's just straight ahead. You've got the gift shop uh, to the right. I'll just talk about the stuff that I've been to, right? I haven't seen the entire resort in its entirety, but we'll, uh, we'll cover the bits that I went to. There's the gift shop through here, boutique. You can buy your uh, t-shirts and souvenirs and stuff like that. So I got myself a t-shirt. Got myself a Four Seasons t-shirt. That's the boutique shop. One 
putting some Michael Jackson on, man. Play some Michael Jackson. Yeah, main entrance. See the staff? They're waiting for the, that seaplane, all the people. Yeah. That's uh, Palm Tree Lined Avenue, the lobby entrance. So it's the main lobby here. A nice uh, tree there. Oh, the other side. Nice place to chill. So I did after breakfast today. Wait for the buggy, they can't pick you up, take you to the room. It's a large resort, yeah, they've got buggies all over the place, yeah, you need it. Nice lobby as well. Alrighty, so breakfast is uh, just up here. It's the gardens. Breakfast is just up here. I'm on uh, day four of holidays, yeah, I don't know the name of the restaurant, the name, uh, but I know it's a restaurant and breakfast is here. Yeah, that's the lobby, the arrival pier, straight ahead. Yeah, it's the arrival jetty and the lobby. Yeah, it's a restaurant here. They're really good at the Four Seasons, they all come and talk to you when you have breakfast, at uh, the chef. Restaurant manager. Let's go and talk to you. How's the food? How's your day? What are you doing today? Going parasailing, mate. What are you yesterday? Shark feeding. So uh, this is the main hotel pool. They're doing a bit of renovation just there. Let's check there's nobody here. Yeah, nobody here. Yeah, it's the main hotel pool. Nice. Okay, yeah, breakfast is in there. It's like Dallas, isn't it? It's like a nice country house. All right, the reason I showed you the pool is because yesterday, yesterday we had uh, last night at 10 o'clock in the evening, 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, you have shark feeding here, shark feeding, yeah? Uh, and I'm, I mean, I mean shark feeding when I say shark feeding, yeah? I was going to cut the video here. I'll show you shark feeding here last night. Some big fish in the water. And then uh, we'll pick it up and carry on. Okay, boat. So I showed you the pool, yeah? Uh, if you Just watch this, yeah? You will not go in the water. All right, restaurant. Breakfast was good. I had masala dosa. Masala dosa was nice. Yeah, the chef, a uh, guy cooked it, Mahesh. From Sri Lanka. I was talking to him. Good guy. All right, we had shark feeding here last night. All right, it's low tide, that's why it's exposed. Shark feeding was just there. Uh, my villa, if you look all the way up there, my villa is right up there. It's a sea view, I mean, it's a sunrise is this side. Ocean villa, it's right up there, my villa. We're walking there. All right, check out shark feeding. Right there last night. Some big fish, eh? Yeah? Big uh, big reef shark, eh? Alright. That's my villa up there, all the way out there, yeah? Uh, I asked them for one as far out to sea as possible, so that's what they gave me. Alright, so that was shark feeding last night. Yeah, it was on there. It's low tide, which is good. This, after this video, I'm going in the water in my villa. 
It's one of the other islands out there, you can see. Some residences as well. It's low tide, that's why the rocks are exposed. Uh, the water, the height of the water does visibly change through the day. Let's get in the trees. It does visibly change because I've got a, from the deck of my villa, uh, you can actually see, yeah. In the evenings it's choppy and uh, high, in the mornings it's much lower. Okay, let's walk to the gardens. I've got my bike parked, I'll walk to the gardens. Uh, the pool's just up there. Yeah, the restaurant's to the left. That's the restaurant. There's people having lunch and stuff. Top hotel, huh? Yeah, this is the lobby area, yeah? It's a lobby on sand. Coconut trees in the sun. Yeah, see the guests are arriving. Yeah. Shark feeding and fish for breakfast. We actually had masala dosa. Which is, uh, masala dosa is like uh, dosa. It's like uh, dosa. Bit of potato curry in the middle and you get some chutney and stuff. Alright. So we'll walk through the garden. We've got a bit of a walk through the gardens here. So how far my villa is. So, uh, yeah, lobby. Buggies. I'm not taking a buggy. You saw how far my villa is. Um, I'll make it interesting for you. Play some stories. Yeah, so blue and spa is this way. Blue is the... Uh, so the spa is midway. Hey. The spa is... Uh, The spa is midway along the island. The island's about 600 meters, something like that. The spa is midway. You get over water treatment rooms and on land. Uh, Blue is the restaurant, the bar. That's the best one, yeah. Blue is the best bar here. Yeah. All right, anywhere in the world nearly. Blue. Uh, it's at the other end of this island. They've got a cracking beach. You go and watch sunset there. All right, so you saw shark feeding. We'll uh, take you to there. I'll show you sunset. Yeah, so these are the gardens. You see how long the island is? It's way out there, people. Yeah, so these are the land villas. The land ones. So I think there's 102 villas on the on the resort. About 70 are on land. And uh, about 35... What, 70 plus 35? 102, yeah? About 35 are uh, over water. So I'm over water. Some of them are poor, some of them don't mind us. Uh, you can choose sunrise or sunset. I chose sunrise. Yeah. That's the gardens. Okay, let's... Uh... Let's take a zigzag course. Alright. Because the, the jungle here... So Maldives has been habited for like thousands of years. This island is called Landa Juravaru. Uh, on Wikipedia, it says, presumably it's true because, you know, anybody can edit it, but it says that the people of the Jiravaru are the original Maldivian people. And, uh, sort of herb garden through there. They're the original Maldivian people. They were like, they were the first here. And, uh, not just that. When the hotel opened here, when the hotel opened here about 15 years ago, they were, uh, there were people that lived here. Hi. There were people that lived here. Hi, 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 hi. This is your herb gardener. Uh -huh. Herb, herb gardener. Okay, cool. My mum cooks this kind of food. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Orchid garden. Huh? This one orchid garden. Orchid garden. Oh, orchids. Okay, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, coconuts. That's the herb garden here, right? It's nice. 
Okay, thanks. thanks so okay, da. Where? Inside there? You want to show me? Okay, can. We'll go. He wants to show us the orchid garden. So the herb garden you use for the cooking in the hotel or? Um, cooking, you use it for cooking in the hotel? The hotel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this one is the orchid garden, huh? Oh. Okay. This one is the garden. Oh, right, right, right. Nice and for yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so playing, yeah? Oh. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I'll have a look in. Okay. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, thanks. Going yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, orchids. You know, I live in Singapore, yeah? It's a national flower. Hi, just looking. It's okay, thanks. Just looking. It's an orchid. It's fine. Just looking. Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks. Just drop one nicely. Huh? Hang in one, hang in one, it's a very beautiful flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't let me take it on the plane with me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Where thanks. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Singapore. Singapore. I live in Singapore, yeah. Or originally from Singapore? No, I was born in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll catch you later, yeah? Just, yeah. yeah, yeah, thanks. <coughs> All right, so we're a bit... Uh, it's all right, it's good talking to local people. So the, this island, Giravaru, so this is where the original people, they think that they for the Maldives. And uh, when the hotel opened, I don't know, 10 something years ago, 12 years ago, um, there were still some local inhabitants here. Yeah, the Maldives have got 1,200 islands. Only like 200 are inhabited out of 1,200 islands. Yeah, they're all the atolls. 1,200 islands, 200 are inhabited. So, hey, yeah, so we're just at the herb garden. And uh, so there were still some people who were resident, the locals, yeah. There were people who lived on this island when the hotel, the hotel decided, right, look, we're building a hotel here, we like it, right? We can get guests here. We'll give the government, you know, X million dollars a year in revenue, make the country better. But there were people still living here. And they said, uh, the people, the local people who are already here, look, you can carry on living here as long as you want, all right? We would just like to build a hotel here if that's all right. And so that was the case. And they lived here. The people, uh, I don't think there's anybody left now, they've all passed away. Because uh, in 1972, when the first resort opened in the Maldives, life expectancy in the Maldives in 1972 was 42, yeah, it's now 70. So in one generation, added 30 years to life expectancy. All right, gardens. Walk up the spa. Yeah, so these are the villas, left and right. Walking on the sunset side here. See the sunset side villas here. Can yeah, see the villas? Totally, I'll keep you entertained. Walking through the gardens. See the villas there. You see? All right, the spa is straight ahead. Far straight ahead, I've got my bike there. We'll pick up my bike and uh, we'll cycle to Blue. Yeah, so there are these jungle walks in here. There's no snakes on the island, yeah, don't worry about stuff like that. But the sharks, yes. So when you go swimming, you can worry about stuff like that. Yeah, it's a jungle path, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think that life expectancy story is pretty amazing, yeah? Between 1972 and 2018, life expectancy in the Maldives at birth has gone from 42 to about 70. All right? Just adding 30 years to people's lives like that. It's amazing. Let's walk through here. It's another, this is the spa. You'll see beaches, don't worry, yeah? Uh, I've been here for, I've been on this island for, uh, well, I've been in the Maldives for four days. Yeah, I've seen plenty of beaches. Yeah, this is quite easy on me as well. Walking through some gardens with you guys. Yeah, it's a spa. Spa treatment rooms. Waiting area, it would seem. A nice garden here. Yeah, blue is the best beach here. Yeah. We'll cycle there and then we'll hit the ocean. 
Hey, hello. Four seasons. The leaf. It's a Canadian company, yeah? Canadian hoteliers. Canadian. You know the flag of Canada? It was a maple leaf, yeah? A gecko there. All right, mate. It's going away. Yeah. Canadian, it's a, four Seasons Canadian. Uh, the flag of Canada, yeah? It's like that flower, the hotel's uh, symbol. Let's walk straight through here. Yeah, gardens. That's my bike. Hi, I'm just gonna take a picture just at the beach there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Bar. We've got a gift shop as well. All right, you get fed up not seeing the water, yeah? Here's the water for you. Here's the beach for you. So this is the beach at the spa. Uh, this walk is basically what I've done in this place, yeah? I'm just uh, repeating it to myself. Yeah, spa treatment rooms, ever water. That's the beach. So my villa, we're nearly there. It's right at the top there. Yeah, you'll see the spa from my room. Yeah, it's just up there is my villa. Yes, yeah, so that's where we're shark feeding. We're halfway up the resort, yeah, spa's in the middle. That's where we're shark feeding. Right, so I've got my bike here. I've got my bike parked here. We'll bike it through the gardens to blue, all right? It's quite glamorous in itself, that. Eh? Thanks, 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 yeah, cheers. Just walking around. Ah, uh, no, I'm all right, it's okay. I'll go through anyway. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, you drip with sweat, yeah? That's what she was saying about the cold towel. Absolutely dripping with sweat, yeah. She offered me a cold towel. All right, this is my bike. I know it's my bike because I parked it here about half an hour ago. All right. So we're going to cycle to blue. There's a guest arriving. Okay, small problem here. There's no handbrake. There's no brakes. There's no brakes to stop you pedal backwards. Alright, blue is just up here. Shit, there's a buggy behind me. Okay. Those people are here. You saw the plane and the guests, I mean the plane. There were people, the staff were waiting at the front, so these people are all checking in. Uh, you don't waste too much time in the lobby. So there's a buggy behind, there's a buggy in front of me, people checking in. The buggy behind me, I will get that time of day. That's my bike, by the way. Cycling through the gardens of the Four Seasons. The Alice is trying to overtake me in the buggy, yeah? They're racing through the gardens like this. I'm cycling one-handed. Hi, hello, hello, hello. So it's a big resort, yeah? Hi. It's a big resort. There's only so many stories I can tell you. All right. How many leaves are on that tree? One, two, three, seven, nine, fourteen. All right, let's discuss how to count instead. Yeah. Kind of lose yourself in the Maldives a bit, yeah? Overwater villas, which is good. It's good to lose yourself once in a while. The yeah, Everwater Villas. Yeah, it looks like that. I was going to cycle it to my villa. Uh, it's on. It's over water, yeah? It's much safer cycling here, because the worst that can happen is you crash into a tree or a bush, yeah, cycling, yeah? It's no big deal. 
falling in the water is a bit different. Yeah, a water villas through the gardens. I don't have to take the bike back either. Right, I'll stop here. So there's uh, two ways. Sunset and sunrise. It's a signpost. Sunset and sunrise. So the right is sunset, left is sunrise. Guests are checking in, they're looking at me. <laughs> it's alright. Future guests will might also look at me. It works both ways. Alright, leave the bike here. Head down to the beach. Park it here. Hey, it's my bike. So this is uh we're at the top end of the resort now. So blue I told you. Uh, let's go this way, let's go this way. So this is blue, okay? Uh, I was here for sunset, I'm gonna cut the video on the other side. I was here for sunset, I'll show you sunset. I'll show you the beach, so I don't have to walk all the way down there. I was there for uh, uh, early this morning. It's a good place for sunset this, it's brilliant. The light, there's fires on there. These are the uh, overwater villas just here. I'm right at the other end. Here. I'm right at the top here. See how the water is so clear, yeah? See the fish? See all those fish down there, yeah? Lots of fish. So those guys, presumably, if we don't feed the sharks, they get eaten by the sharks. Yeah, it's the other water villas. Some guy in the water. So where I'm going next is the Anantara Kihava. Going there later today. Uh, that's the Anantara Kihava Resort. Anantara Kihava is that one just there. Four Seasons take me in their boat. It's about 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Yep. Yeah, so this is the villas. Yes, Blue Bar. I showed this place last night. I showed this place last night and uh, that's a seaplane that we saw at the start. That beach there, that's the most famous beach on this hotel. It forms like a slither of sand all the way out uh, based on tide height, tide and wind direction. Yep, so we'll see you tonight and then we'll carry on. So uh, welcome to the Blue Bar, just going to watch uh, sunset, sunset is happening. So Blue Bar is the famous bar with the famous beach at Four Seasons, just uh, nice lights here. Hi, just going to video the sunset. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a little infinity pool here, the beach. Yeah, it's the blue bar. The orange glow is the sun. A yeah, little infinity pool. The beach. Sunset is happening, this lovely orange glow, just over here. Those are the villas, the water villas, that's where I'm staying. 
sunset is this lovely orange glow that you see just there. Best spot on the island towards sunset. Nice, eh? Beautiful sight in the Maldives, watching uh, sunset at the Blue Bar, the Four Seasons and the Jirawaru. Great. Yeah, there's a place, it's called the Blue Bar. The Blue Bar, yeah. There's a lot of the decor in this hotel, sort of this uh, white and blue. Yeah, we're the only people, uh, we're the only people in, the hotel, in the bar. They've got a nice sort of outdoor seating area. And that's beach. That's where I went parasailing earlier, yeah. That was a good laugh. I was in that sky where you see sunset there. I was uh, in that sky uh, parasailing. Yeah, I was up there. I was up in that sky parasailing earlier. It was brilliant. My uh, gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Go back down, you get this free uh, stuff. Alright, sunset at the blue bar. Ciao, see you later. So just uh, walked up to the beach, uh, just adjacent to the, uh, the blue bar. Uh, this is the most famous uh, beach at the hotel. Yeah, it's looking uh, towards the uh, the main entrance of the hotel, all the way up there. It's the Marine Discovery Center and uh, so on. Yeah. So we're going to be blessed with another sunny day here. Uh, blue is the bar, that's the best place to watch sunset. Uh, sunset's basically just over here to the left. Those are the overwater villas, so I'm in 317. Mine's a sunrise villa which looks the other way, it's got a pool uh, and so on. Yeah. Yeah, sunset is sort of in that direction just out there. Uh, the Anantara, where I'm going later, is that one. Anantara Kihava Villas is over there. Yeah, superb beach, yeah? yeah the most famous beach uh, on the island here. Yeah, villas. Lovely waters of the Maldives. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, and the blue bar. So, for sunset yesterday. Sports fans, greetings. We're in the Maldives. There's some big fish in here. Yeah, we had a uh, sun, uh, late night shark feeding last night at 10 o'clock, and uh, some huge uh, reef sharks. Yeah, I mean like two meter long reef sharks. Yeah, bigger than human beings. Uh, but they, we're not on the menu. Uh, they don't eat us. That's beach. Yeah, so this is the one that's on their photos, yeah, it's like this slither of sand that just sort of uh, goes out. Uh, it's based on two factors, the wind and uh, the tides. It's lovely yeah, how the water just uh, does this. On both sides. Keep walking. Feet is wet. My feet is officially wet. So no dust flip flops. My feet is officially wet in the Maldives. Nice. 
nice. We like it. Very good, young man. Not. Yeah, main arrivals uh, area. Blue bar. Villas. And so on. And the beautiful clear waters. The Maldives. Alrighty, ciao. See you later. Nice. Alrighty, so that was uh, me at the beach and the last night. It's an amazing beach this, yeah? Yeah, it's water villas. The other islands in the bar at all. Yeah, blue is the bar, it's the infinity pool here. Blue is the bar here. The blue bar. It's really nice. Sort of a wooden, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the water sports industry. I went parasailing yesterday. I told you you'll see the beach. I went parasailing yesterday. It's good fun. You see the whole place, yeah? From like 200 meters up in the sky. Yeah, let's walk over here. There's a beach parked out there. Hey. There's a seaplane parked out there, right there. So we started the walk there. That's Milaidu, Milaidu Resort, way out there. These are the, the beachfront villas. Beachfront villas over here. And uh, water sports center is just here. past this uh, beach volleyball court. Amazing sight. Right, I'll get my bike. Get on my bike and... Uh, yeah, it's water sports there. It's all about parasailing. Actually, I feel uh, comfortable about cycling. I think we'll just cycle it. Some bike. Give me a second, I'll get up. Okay, let's go. So there's 21 sets of villas on either side. 21 sets of overwater villas on either side. Uh, 21 sunrise, 21 sunset. Sunset left, sunrise right. I'm on the right. Yeah, the water is much, uh, it's much lower now at this time, at lunchtime. When I checked in at this sort of time, uh, it's much better to go wading. And, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So the spa that we were at, that's the spa there. So they walk to Yep Spa. Yeah, see the water? Yeah, you've seen fish in the water already at Blue. Blue is uh, that place there, it's Blue. The, uh, yeah, just come over here, get a better view. Get a better view here. I know, because I've taken photos here. Yeah, it's Blue. And the seaplane is out there. Yep. I'm taking a boat out of here, I told you, yeah. To an entire, but you can take a seaplane out if you need to. Some fishing there. Ready. Cycle for a bit. Yeah, so if you get it wrong here, yeah, you end up in the water, and it's happened before. Uh, when you check in, the guy drives you in a buggy, and uh, he tells you, uh, people have fallen in the water off transport. They generally turn not to walk in, 
however drunk you are or at night if you just don't watch where you're walking uh, it's extremely unlikely you will just walk into the water even if you're drunk yeah but bikes hey, bikes buggies you know people just lose it sometimes right uh, people have fallen there before and you're not gonna see a repeat performance here today with me hi 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 morning hi yeah, so it's good, yeah, they, they, you don't go, so you see the buggy just stop there? Yeah, it's one-way transport, one-way travel. First come, first served. Hello. Hi. All right. So there are various bits along the way. There are various, there's three sets of bungalows, like over water villas like that. There are various bits on the way. We can uh, stop and sort of admire the scenery. Yeah, there's a spa out there. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Sit there without worrying in the world. Let's look at the ocean and fish. Okay, let's go. Uh, got one more of these lengths to get through. We'll get to my bit of villas. Get to the bike as well. Yeah, people have fallen in the water, yeah? Down there. The easiest way to think of it is that uh, if something can go wrong, if something can go wrong, then one day it will go wrong, all right? Now, falling in the water isn't necessarily wrong, all right? Some people might like to fall in the water, yeah? It's actually quite nice in the water. Because I'm going in the water when I go back to my room. But what I'm saying is that uh, when you're cycling, uh, it's not, that's not the idea, right? You don't cycle off a bridge into a river. Okay, so my villa is just up here on the right. Okay, just up here, just stop the bike here. Actually, we'll just leave the bike here, I can't get there. So let's park the bike. Thanks for the ride, mate. Okay. Yeah, so villas. This is your bike. It's good little bike that. Yeah, so they have these huts and things dotted around the place. You can uh, it's in the shade as well. It's nice. Yeah, so that's the beach. The water. Yeah, the water's much lower than it was earlier. Yeah, I think it's, we're coming up towards. 11.30 in the morning. Uh, yeah, the water's much lower than it was earlier. Perfect timing to go in the water, I think, after we finish this video. I posted a separate video just of the room. I posted a video, a separate video just of the room. Uh, I'll show you me in the water, yeah? This one, there's enough uh, just with the hotel. Enough to admire and uh, encourage you all to come and stay here, right? That's the deal. Come and stay at the Four Seasons Landa Giravaru in the Maldives because I did. All right. 316, something this one, 317. Yeah, it's the top end just up there, all the way to, we're right at the end of the resort, yeah? I asked them, uh, can you give me a villa as far out to sea as possible? It's exactly what they did. Yeah, it's open ocean out there. Okay, you see there's one bike, because the other one's up there. This is my villa, 317. I'm sure there's fish in the sea. Three one seven. Four Seasons Resort, Maldives at Landa Giravara. That's what the key looks like, yeah? No key card. It's not locked anyway. I didn't lock it. Okay, ah oh, man, nice and air conditioned and cool. Oh look at the place, the fruit. Let's give you a quick two-minute walk round. Close the door. Yeah. This is your living room here. Kept everything close to keep it cool. Harry and Megan got married two days ago. It's a new snow, but you get that when you go for breakfast. Yeah, it's the deck outside. Yeah, it's the bedroom. Absolutely dripping with sweat, people. Yeah, boys and girls, yeah. Living room. Bedroom. Deck. Paintings on the wall. Get a little story through here. Red boys here. Sports fans, it's the red boy. 
Yeah, boys and girls, it's me, yeah, the orchids. That orchid garden earlier, it's the bathroom in here. Yeah, everything's uh, it's been lived in, people. Boys and girls, sports fans, greetings. Uh, Four Seasons Resort, Maldives, Landa Jarabaru. Sports fans, boys and girls, welcome. Yeah, bathroom. We've been enough of that walk. Uh, yeah, outdoor showers here. That's yeah, neighbours, open air. Lovely clear day. That's the best, uh, that's a really nice bit in the room this, yeah? You know what I like most? The curtains. Look at the curtains, man. Look at the curtains. Yeah. Go out on the deck. It's so nice and cool in here, yeah? Air conditioned. You know the lady at the spa? She asked me, um, you know the lady at the spa, she asked me, do you want a towel? Yeah. It's air conditioned in here, okay? That's why she asked. It's hot outside. All right, it's the deck. The condensation towel drink. Let's take off the flip-flops. Yeah, there's the Four Seasons uh, flip-flops, by the way. Yeah, it's got his matting here he can walk on. It doesn't break. The cushions were there. We had a light drizzle yesterday. So put them against the wall so it doesn't get wet. Help the hotel. You help me, I help you. Yeah, see the people wading in? So shark feeding was right at the top. Shark feeding was right at the top end of the resort there last night. That's where the lobby and so on is. Yeah, that was shark feeding last night. That's what lives in this water, yeah? Those sharks, they can happily come here. Uh, the spa is halfway down. And then the other villas. Yeah, those sharks, yeah? There's nothing to stop them coming here. Yeah, it's this little matting deck you get. Yes, bedroom. Deck. Deck yeah. It's upstairs, I'll take you upstairs, we'll finish upstairs. Yeah, the pool. The other thing is the floor gets hot. Yeah, just walking barefoot, yeah, the floor is hot. It's, it's almost uncomfortably hot. You have to wear well, flip-flops are pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Neighbours. Deck here. The pool. Upstairs as well. Little cottage, yes, little bungalow on stilts over water. Cool. The fish there, that black fish. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a little cottage, little bungalow on stilts over water in the Maldives. Uh, best part of 2000 US a night. 2000 US a night for this one. Okay, let's go upstairs. So you get these steps to go up. Uh, on the way up, yeah, so it's the sunset side. So cool. You got a little uh, sleeping area up here. Just chill out, hide, you know, whatever, read a book. The art of the deal, whatever takes your fancy. Clash of civilizations, yeah. Alrighty, my deck. Thanks for watching the tour of Four Seasons Resort, Maldives at Landa Giravaru. Absolute brilliant place, totally enjoyed the stay. Uh, great villas as well, great views, great staff, great food, great everything. It's good to be back at the Four Seasons, first Four Seasons of 2018. Uh, it's good to be back, staying with Four Seasons around the world. All right, I'll see you on our travels. Ciao. Been lucky with the weather as well. So I come inside the. Uh, That's my villa. Inside the ocean here at uh, Four Seasons, Landa Jirovaru. Yeah, that's where the ocean breaks. Just come out for a, just come out for a walk in the uh, in the lagoon. Yeah, it's all these fish. 
Possibly. Maybe. Yeah. It's the main bit of the resort all the way down there. Some other people uh, swimming and stuff. Try and find a shark for you. Yeah, it's nice being in here. All right, ciao.